of nearly 58,000 packed Sydney cricket ground for the first rugby league test between England and Australia. The Australians, led by Captain Ian Walsh, are pretty confident, but both teams have been weakened by injuries. Brian Edgar leads England after tour captain Harry Poole has to withdraw, and the stage is set for a real thriller. The state governor, Sir Roden Cutler, meets the visitors before the game starts. It's perfect football weather, and the crowd's ready for a real battle of the Giants. They're going to be disappointed with the standard of play, but there's plenty of action. The Australians surge to the attack from the kickoff and keep play well within England's territory. Five minutes after play starts, Australian fullback Keith Barnes gets a chance at a penalty goal. And Mr. Golden Boots makes no mistake. Australia leads 2-0. But England comes back strongly with their backs switching the play cleverly. The Australian defence crumbles before a concerted onslaught. There's an English try coming up. And there it is. Watson's over. And when Keegan converts, it's England in front, five points to two. Barnes kicks two more penalties for Australia, and then just before half-time has another attempt. It's a beauty too, and at the interval, Australia lead by eight points to seven. Only one try in the first half, but England is looking dangerous. The visitors swing into the attack, and Australia battles desperately to keep them out. There are some anxious moments, the defences hold, but then English half Tommy Bishop snaps a field goal to put his team in front. The Australians are being outplayed, but they come back in a do or die effort and are rewarded when Banks goes over. But England's got the game all sewn up. Bill Burgess streaks from the line and no one can stop him. It's a great diving try. England's taken the first rugby league test by 17 points to 30. 